My name is Odessa Gunn, and I'm a former pro bike racer, and now I'm an animal rights advocate. My mission in life is to help animals. I feel like that's what I was put here to do. Forget-Me-Not Farm is named after the flower, Forget-Me-Nots, which are a beautiful blue little blossom. But more importantly, the name is called Forget-Me-Not because a lot of the children and the animals who have these really sad and, and bad histories often get forgotten in society. They're kind of unseen. All of the animals on the Forget-Me-Not Farm are rescued and they all come from various situations, like our cow, Raymond, is a product of the dairy industry because they have to keep the cows pregnant in order to keep them producing milk. And then the offspring, if they're boys, they get sold for meat. The llamas came from a situation where mountain lions were eating them. The chickens come from, oftentimes, egg-producing farms. And so we'll get, like, in the middle of the night sometimes, it's really crazy, we'll get, like, a truckload of 100 chickens. And then we just have to rally because we find them homes immediately. My mom started this program in 1992 as an intervention for child abuse. My mom realized that there was a connection between the cycle of violence that happens with people who abuse animals and the cycle of violence that gets perpetuated against humans. So we thought it would be a good fit to bring a model to our county and intervene with children who'd been exposed to violence and teach them how to be compassionate and caring through working with animals that have histories of abuse and neglect. I just really enjoy coming here and just forgetting about everything else and letting the farm animals cool me down and just like take my mind off of everything. These animals give you feelings that humans can't give you, like they don't yell at you, they kind of just like sit there and listen. They're a coping skill. When I'm not here like I get upset and I like being with animals, but yeah, I like being here. It's calming, like if I'm sad. Like, an animal will just, like, make my day and make me laugh. Like, even the silliest thing, like, an animal can jump, and it would just make my day and make, like, my whole world just feel better. I believe compassion is indeed something that needs to be taught. So although we're working with five to 800 kids a year here at the farm, you can do that as well. If you have any kind of influence over any child, just lead by example, show compassion to animals, to all living creatures. That's one of the biggest rules at the farm, is when they get here, you have to have respect for all living and non-living creatures. Even the bugs, we love the bugs. <laughs>